Hello, and welcome to today's teaching, which is being presented to you by For Those Who Choose Incorporated. Yes. My name is Annette Cook, and I'm a co-founder, and I'm one of the lead instructors here at For Those Who Choose. And teaching with me again today is my husband, Elder Aaron Cook. Good day, everyone. He's also a co-founder and a lead instructor, and Miss Diane Bishop Bowen, the bishop, who is also a part of our <laughs> instructor team. Amen. Today, we continue in our studies on prayer. Our topic of discussion has been the kingdom purpose and power of prayer. Yes, sir. Each week, we state how it's how we believe it's important to mm -hmm. place emphasis on the purpose and vital necessity of prayer. We've said many times before that the word vital means it's necessary to the existence, continuance, or well-being of something. Yes. We also said that another definition simply states that vital means it's necessary to life. To life, amen. It's necessary. Amen. So prayer is necessary to life. And so what this means is you cannot live successfully, productively, or effectively without it. Amen. Therefore, it's important that we understand the Creator's reason or purpose for prayer. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible tells us to pray without ceasing. Mm -hmm. So it's important that we know God's original intent and purpose for prayer in order to know why it's necessary as well as how to do it effectively. Always remember that purpose is foundational to everything. Purpose means the reason of the thing you are referring to. Where purpose is not known, abnormal use or abuse is inevitable. Amen. So let's again recap some of the things we've touched upon in prior lessons to lay the foundation for what we are teaching in this series on prayer. In Genesis chapters 1 and 2, it tells us God's purpose for creating mankind and the earth. Mm -hmm. It says that he made us in his image and yes. after his likeness. Yes. And God gave mankind dominion authority over everything mm. in the earth. Amen. And so to have dominion means to govern, to rule, to lead, to manage, and to master the earth. So this tells us that God's purpose for creating mankind in the earth was to govern and control the affairs of earth. However, we never, he never ever wanted mankind to do this on his own. Praise God. Never Amen. did. Instead, he placed his spirit in mankind so that we could rule this earth with mm. the influence of heaven. Yes, sir. Now, as we've said many times before, the word influence means the actions or process of producing effects on the actions, behaviors, and opinions of others. Mm -hmm. God wanted the country of heaven's government to affect the actions and behaviors on earth through mankind. Mm -hmm. God wanted and still wants heaven's culture nature, morals, standards, yes, and values to be manifested in the entire earth. Mm -hmm. the entire earth. Now, from our studies on our prior series on the Holy Spirit, we know that the influence of heaven living in mankind was the power and the presence of the person of the Holy Spirit. Amen. He is a person. Amen. He is God's Spirit. Yes. And the role of the Holy Spirit living in mankind was, and still is today, to teach us the ways of heaven. Amen. So with the Holy Spirit as our teacher and our counselor and our guide, we would know what heaven is like and we would know the mind mm -hmm. of our heavenly yes. father Amen. who is the most high king of heaven. And knowing the mind and the will of the king would enable us to continually manifest heaven's culture right here on the earth. Mm -hmm. Now, as we've talked many times before about how Adam rebelled against God's authority in Genesis, the third chapter, and we said that the word rebellion is the same word as what? As sin. 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 Mm -hmm. Rebellion is sin. Yes. Sin and rebellion are the synonymous. Same. Yeah. They're That's the same right. term. Amen. So the rebellion of Adam made the human body, which is the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit, unholy. Yes. And the Holy Spirit could no longer live in an unholy vessel. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us that God and sin cannot dwell in the same place. Cannot. Therefore, the Holy Spirit had to depart from Amen. mankind. Mm. Amen. The Holy Spirit was recalled back to the country of heaven. And because of mankind's rebellion against God, mankind, we, mankind, also lost the governing control of the earthly kingdom to Lucifer, Satan, or mm -hmm. Sleepha. We're going to yeah, add that in. <laughs> so in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15, God implemented a plan mm -hmm. which would get his spirit wow. back into mankind and mm -hmm. restore the mm -hmm. governing control of earth to man as well. 
So God fulfilled this plan by wrapping himself in flesh mm -hmm. and coming to the earth through the Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, who is the Savior yes. of the whole world. Yes. The whole world. Amen. And to all that would receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, and that still applies today, mm -hmm. if you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, the blood of Jesus, Jesus. Christ cleanses mankind from sin and unrighteousness. Hallelujah. And it is by the blood of Jesus Christ that mankind has been reconciled to God's family. Mm -hmm. It is by the blood of Jesus Christ that we are also restored into our kingdom, citizenship, authority of mm -hmm. heaven. Amen. Now, restoration and reconciliation means that we are once again able to reign and mm -hmm. rule in this earth with the power or influence of God's spirit. Mm -hmm. yes. God's spirit, who is the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit, could once again live in us. Yes, sir. Operate on us. Mm -hmm. Operate through yes, us. Yes, To cause God's good, acceptable, Amen. and perfect Amen. will of our Heavenly Father to Amen. be done here on this Amen. earth. That's mm -hmm. what he wants. Mm -hmm. Now, what we've been learning in this series is the way to manifest heaven's influence mm -hmm. throughout the earth and all the systems of the world is through prayer. Amen. Amen. Through prayer, That's how you doing? God gave dominion authority or the governing control of earth to mankind. God will not move in the earth without the permission of mankind. That's right. Come on, come so on. as we've said before, the conditions of the world today, and the world is in some crazy conditions yes, right now, yes. but the truth is the conditions of the world today is directly the responsibility of the actions mm -hmm or the lack thereof of mankind. And you know what? And John Wesley said, without man, God will not. And without God, man, man, man cannot. 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 Can't. So the simple truth is that if we want heaven's doors opened over the earth and we want God to move in our current situations on earth, mm -hmm. um, circumstances, we must give him the permission to do his will in the earth. Amen. Mm -hmm. So during this series, we are studying the kingdom, purpose, and power of prayer. Amen. Amen. So our primary objective for this series has been that you will be increased with knowledge understanding and wisdom of God's original intent and purpose mm -hmm. for prayer. Now the content of this segment is based on the book called Understanding the Purpose and Power of Prayer, Earthly License for Heavenly Interference. Mm -hmm. The book was written by our mentor, the late great Dr. Miles Monroe. Miles Monroe. And we strongly encourage you to read the book as well mm -hmm. as you follow along with this series mm -hmm. because Dr. Miles provides some practical application Amen. exercises <clears throat> at the end of each chapter that are beneficial to all who really truly desire to increase the effectiveness of your prayer life. Amen. 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 Now we also want to remind you that the kingdom is God's greatest desire and passion for you and I. Amen. And it is vitally important that we study the kingdom. Mm -hmm. We are God's children. And his desire is that we will rule this earth. That's mm -hmm. right. That we will reign in life mm -hmm. with the influence of heaven. Amen. God wants the environment of his influence, which is his government and the economy of heaven to come back to earth mm -hmm. as he originally intended, purposed, and planned from the very beginning. Amen. God wants his heavenly kingdom or his heavenly government to be manifested in the earth through mm -hmm. you and I. Amen. God's desire is that his kingdom government be manifested in the hearts and in the mind of we, his children, mm -hmm. to the point that we take on his culture, yes. his nature, yes. mm -hmm. his morals, mm -hmm. his standards, mm -hmm. and his values, mm -hmm. so that the culture of heaven is manifested throughout the whole earth. Amen. Mm -hmm. As we said many, many times before, Culture is not in, in the, the land, land. Not in land. but culture is in the people of the land. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when you possess the culture of the king of heaven, Amen. you will indeed be able to Amen. manifest <laughs> heaven's culture Amen. in the earth. Amen. Thy kingdom come, yes. thy, thy will, will be, be done, done on earth. Just, just like, like it, it is, is in heaven. In heaven. Amen. Amen. Now, for those of you who are joining us live today, we ask that you join, join. the conversation. Yes. All throughout this live section, we ask that you will share your thoughts and your questions with us. Mm -hmm. And at the end of each session, we always have an open forum. During that time, we will respond to any questions or concerns that you may have online. 
our desires that you walk away from these teachings with the knowledge and understanding that will allow you to apply what you're learning to your everyday life. Remember in the parable of the sower, which is in the book of Matthew chapter 13, mm -hmm. Jesus explained that the seed is the word of the kingdom yes. and how the evil one is Satan. Yes. Mm -hmm. He tells how Satan comes immediately and steal mm -hmm. the word of the kingdom mm -hmm. when you don't understand That's it. Right. Mm -hmm. Satan operates mm -hmm. in our ignorance, which is our darkness. That's, That's right. right. Okay? That's why he's called the prince of darkness. Prince of darkness. Mm -hmm. The That's prince right. of ignorance. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Where you, are. where you are ignorant, where you don't know. That's Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Therefore, please, please don't leave this session today without having a thorough understanding of everything that we've discussed. Mm -hmm. So please join the conversation. Join the Come on in. <laughs> Type your questions Amen. or comments in the comment section, and we have a team of people who will be able to share them with us. Amen. Also, if you don't mind, hit the like and the share button. Start mm -hmm. your watch party mm -hmm. That's right. to share this message with others. Who, who may want to learn more about the kingdom, mm -hmm. it is for, for those, those who choose. choose. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, before we move into our lesson today, let's officially open our session in prayer. Let's petition the government of heaven to give the Most High King mm -hmm. of heaven uh, permission to manifest his presence in and through this teaching today. Sister Diane, Amen. Sister Bishop, I should the say. Bishop. Sister Bishop, would you lead us in prayer Lord, today? Mercy, the Bishop. Jesus. Amen. And you pray with us. The Bible say, pray without, without ceasing. Amen. 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 Father, God, Lord, we mm. come in the name of Jesus, thanking you for your loving kindness, Lord. Father, we come giving you all the honor, mm. all the glory, mm -hmm. all the praise, and all the thanksgiving because it's all because of you, Father. Yes, Father. We come, mm. Father, because we love you, Lord. Yes, we we thank you, Lord, that you will never leave us nor forsake us, Father. Mm. And Lord, we don't come on our own. Mm. We bring all humanity with us, yes, Father. globally, nationally, and universal, mm. because you are our Father. Yes, Father. Father, you are creator of all flesh. Mm -hmm. We're your only creation that you created after your likeness and in your image. Yes. Father, we have your DNA. We have your nature. We have your character. Father, we are the full weight of you. We are your glory. Mm -hmm. So, Father, forgive us, Lord, for distorting your glory, Father. Mm -hmm. Lord, you finished us long before we began. Mm -hmm. Father, you know our end before our beginning. Yes. You know our thoughts from afar and what we're going to say completely before we even say it, Father. Yes. You know the number of hairs on our head, Father. Mm -hmm. You know every aspect of our life, God. Mm -hmm. So, Father, this day, I give you the permission mm -hmm. to operate in us, to operate on us, to operate through us, God. I ask, Father, that you will remove the scales, remove the blinders mm -hmm. from our eyes, God. Yes, that we will see and know the good, except and perfect will for our life concerning Christ Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Father, send your anointing this day, God. Mm -hmm. We surrender this teaching to you today, God. Yes, we ask, Holy Spirit, that you would crucify our flesh and nail yes. it to the cross. Yes. Holy Spirit, stand tall in us, live big within us, speak to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are our God. You are our teacher. Yes, you are Jesus. our leader, and we are following you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we love you on today, God. Mm -hmm. We glorify yes, you today, yes, God, yes, and bless yes, your holy yes, name. Yes, Father, we bind up every distraction. Yes, we bind yes, up every yes. sickness, every disease, every bacteria, every mm. infection. We bind it right now in yes, the, name, in of the Jesus. name of Jesus. We bind up every diagnosis. Mm. We bind and come against cancer. Yes, we bind Lord. up every yes, diabetic Lord. condition. Yes, we bind up Thank arthritis you, right now in, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Yes. We bind and come against every mm. respiratory disorder in the oh, name of Jesus. Yes. We we yes. bind up every dysfunction of every organ in the name of Jesus. Uh, we bind and come against arthritis in the knees right now yes. in the name of Jesus. We bind up obesity in the yes. name of oh, Jesus. Jesus, God. We bind up every migraine headache, every sciatic nerve pain. Yes. We bind it in the name of Jesus. Yes. Uh, and Father, we loose your healing on today, Hallelujah. God. But Father, don't heal us to make us feel better. Yes. Heal us for your 
forsake God. Yes. Have Hallelujah. your yes. way in our lives, dear yes. God, in the yes. name of Jesus, yes. Father. We lack nothing. We are under heaven's jurisdiction. Yes. We are rich. We are wealthy. We lack nothing. We mm. bind and come yes. against limitations. We bind up poverty. Yes. We bind mm. and come mm. against Jesus. hunger in the yes. name of Jesus. Name Father, of Jesus. those things are not your will mm. for our life, dear God, yes. in the name of Jesus, Father. Yes. Oh, Father, I lift your people before you now, God. Yes. Those that don't know you, let them get to know you on today, mm. God. Yes. For the day is the day of salvation. Yes. And those that don't know you, let them get to know you, Father. Yes. Yes. And let us, Father, let us make your salvation attractive. You said if you be lifted up, up from yes, the earth, hallelujah. you would draw all men unto you, God. Yes. We lift you up on high today, God. Yes, Father, that men will be drawn, Father, in the name of Jesus. Mm. Holy Spirit, crucify our flesh, nail it to the cross. Mm. There's no good thing in our flesh. Mm. We bind and come against the pride of life, the lust of the flesh, and yes. the eye of the flesh. Yes. In the yes. name of Jesus, name of Holy Jesus. Spirit, consume us yes, take God. control yes. consume our minds on yes. today God yes. regulate our minds transform our minds yes. God we yes. come seeking your mind on today God yes. we love you on today yes. God yes. we glorify you yes. today yes. God yes. and we give you the permission God to operate in earth's affairs yes, through men do. that your perfect will be done yes. on earth yes. just yes. like it is in heaven yes. we welcome you in this teaching God yes. teach yes. through us on today God yes. Yes. and I lift the teacher before you now God yes, and that cook yes, I plead the blood of Jesus over mm, her life God yes, Father constantly give her revelation knowledge yes, of your Lord. word yes. and give her the ability and authority to proclaim your gospel yes. with boldness power and clarity in the name of Jesus yes. Father look upon those that are behind mm. the scenes. Yes, Bless Jesus. them right now, yes, Father. Mm. I plead yes. the blood of Jesus over their lives, yes. God. Yes. Riches and wealth shall mm. always be in yes. their house uh, in the name of mm. Jesus. Mm. Father, I love you. We love you on today, yes, God. We, we glorify you mm. today, yes, God, mm. and bless your holy name. Yes, in Jesus' name, Jesus amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, amen. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for that powerful prayer to you. Be Bishop, Lord. Glory be to God. Well, thank you, Father. Well, I'm telling you, I'm going to put my seat belt, belt on. Yes, Lord. Through that Lord. prayer, I'm telling you. Mm. And if you, you are wise, you will put yours on too. Mm. As we mm. are about to enter into the infallible, incorruptible, yes, sir. Yes, eternal, sir. and immutable, unchanging word of God. Mm. God is healing the sick. He's raising Come those of us now. who were dead. Come on. And he is certainly giving sight to the blind. Sight to the blind. Yes, sight. Sight comes mm. through revelation of the word. And see, you don't have to be physically blind to be spiritually Come blind. But every on. time we receive a word from God, it helps to open our eyes. Amen. So I want to welcome you all right now mm -hmm. to an eye-opening experience as we are about to enter into the teaching in the gospel of the kingdom of God, the kingdom, purpose, and power of prayer. Amen. 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 Now, before we move into our new content for this week, let's take a few minutes to review or view again what we talked about on last week as we continue to talk about the kingdom, purpose, and power of prayer. Amen. Last week we continued discussing the final subtopic in this series on prayer called understanding fasting. Mm. Understanding fasting. And we will really actually complete it today. We begin by saying that fasting enables you and I to receive the fullness of God's power for ministry. Mm -hmm. The fullness of God's power. That word fullness means to fold to completeness or utmost capacity with overflowing. That's right. And that's you know right. that, that with overflow, that's one of God's name. His name is El Shaddai. Come that's on right, now. That's right. He's the many breasted one and he's more than enough God to deliver us out of any situation, any circumstance or anything that we're dealing with. That's Amen. Right. That's Amen. Right. Amen. God's purpose. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. We say sometimes prayer alone is not enough to accomplish God's prayer. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
We talked about the story in the Bible that speaks about a man whose son was demon possessed. Mm -hmm. Jesus' disciples were trying to cast out the demon, mm -hmm. but the demon was laughing at them. Why? We said it was because they were not prepared. Wow. Jesus came and cast out the demon and the disciples pulled him aside and asked him why they hadn't been able to do this. They were like, Jesus, why couldn't we do this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And his answer was, this kind come out, but only by oh, prayer, prayer and, and fasting. That's my Lord. Prayer and fasting. Mm. We read this story in the book of Matthew chapter 17. We said that Jesus Christ was able to cast out any demon he was confronted with because he had spent 40 days preparing himself for ministry through prayer and fasting. Wow. We all know he fasted for 40 days 40 and 40 days. nights. Mm -hmm. And we talked about how he continued to pray and fast on a regular, regular basis. basis. That's right. Mm -hmm. So we ask the question, have you ever gone to a worship service and not felt like worshiping God? Mm -hmm. wow. Have you? Mm -hmm. Have you? Mm -hmm. Have you ever told God you want to feel more of his presence and power? Yes. We said that it may be because you have been feeding your flesh, but neglecting your spirit. Wow. Yeah. Even though God created our physical bodies um, um, to need food, he wants our bodies to be controlled by our spirits. Amen. You know, that's Amen. why he says, if you walk in the spirit, you then you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. flesh. That's right. but, but, but listen, walking in the spirit is not a spooky thing that you do. Uh, right, right, right. But, 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 but to be able to walk in the spirit, you first must be spiritually minded. That's, that's right. why God says, that, um, to, um, he says, be ye transformed yes. by the renewing of your mind. Right. He says, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think, think. on these things. That's right. He says, let this mind be in you that is in Christ that's Jesus. Jesus. He right. says, thou will keep us in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Why? Because we trust in him. So God is showing you that the mind is the key. That's right. That's Amen. Right. So so did you want to add something? I else? just want to say the word of God tell us that we can't live on bread alone. That's right. right. But by every, every word that, that proceeded out of the mouth that's of God. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's why we need it. That's why every day we need a preceding word. Yes. We need a noun word. Yes. We need a, a, a today's word. Amen. Mm -hmm. And God's word is for today, yesterday, and forever more. That's Amen. Right, that's right. Right. So we talked about how when you teach the word of God, it is not good to eat much beforehand before um, because your flesh will get in the way yes, of the flowing of yes, the anointing. Sir. That's why we don't eat anything on Sundays. Yes, before sir. we come to do our teachings on Sunday, sometimes we don't eat until well, we don't eat until after ministry is over. And sometimes that's 630 or 7, maybe sometimes at 8, right. you know, depending on what we do mm -hmm. when we leave here. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. so, and you have to realize it's the anointing of God that destroys the burdens and breaks the yoke, the yoke of bondage Amen. off of our lives Amen. of God's people. Mm -hmm. We said that this is what Jesus was referring to when he told his disciples that the demon who was afflicting the man's sons could come out only by prayer and prayer. And, and fasting. fasting. That's right. He was saying, that in effect, you have prayed for this man's son to be delivered. And prayer is good. Mm -hmm. However, sometimes you need to add something to your prayer. And that's something you need is a spirit of consecration to God. Mm -hmm. And an abstinence from what you can from what can interfere with the flow of God's power in your life. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times that's eating. Amen. Amen. And drinking. Amen. So we ask the question, have you ever thought to yourself, I've been a believer for 10 years or more, but God seems so far away. Mm. I feel so empty. Mm. We said that you may feel like you're in a desert and you don't have any spiritual zeal. Mm. You don't have any spiritual passion for God. It's dry. We said <laughs> it is dry. We said if this is your situation, I might ask you these questions. Are mm. you still saved? And you would probably answer yes. Mm. Do you still have the Holy Spirit? And you would answer yes to this question as well. Then why do you feel so empty and dry? What is it that you don't want or why is it that you don't want to go to church or read your Bible or pray mm -hmm. or talk to anyone about God? Mm -hmm. Well, to answer these questions, we look as we always should to Jesus as our example. Right. We always look to Jesus as Amen. our example. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's See, right. when he was here on the earth, we said that Jesus had the full capacity of God's anointing, the full capacity of, of God's anointing to meet the needs of the people. Mm -hmm. Yet fasting was still a necessary thing for him to do. Mm -hmm. 
We recall in the book of Luke chapter 4 where it says, Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness where he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days. Then in verse 13 through 14, the Bible says, when the devil had finished all tempting, he left him until an opportune time. Which means he didn't leave him permanently. He right. Died. Left to right. So you know from that, just from that um, uh, part of the scripture, you know if, if the enemy tempted Jesus, you know he's going to tempt us. Yes. That's the truth. Yes. Then Jesus returned in power of the spirit to Galilee and the news of him went throughout all the surrounding regions, mm-hmm. all the surrounding mm-hmm. regions. We said that this tells us, we said that this lets us know that a fast will ignite the power of the Holy Spirit yes, living sir. within you Woo! and me, all of us. The power of the Holy Spirit living within you is the enabling power of the kingdom of heaven's government manifested in the earth. That's right. Amen. That's right. We talked about how this power living in you and I enables us to bring every situation every and situation. every circumstance in life yes. and in the earth under the under the subjection of the knowledge of God, which has been made available to you and I, to all of us, right. by the Lord Jesus the That's Christ, right. the anointed That's one. It. Amen. Simply put, we said that this power will cause your situations to obey the will of the Most High God, mm-hmm. who is the King and Lord of heaven and the earth. Mm-hmm. Now, as the Bible lets us know, this earth belongs to God in the fullness thereof. Oh, that's right. The world and all we oh, who right. live in this world belongs to him. That's why he's called Lord. He's the Lord. That's right. He's the Lord. He's the owner or Lord of heaven and the earth. That's Amen. right. Now, looking back at Jesus 40 days earlier, which can be read about in the book of Luke, chapter 3, verses 21 uh, through 22. When Jesus had been baptized by his cousin John in the Jordan, the heavens had opened mm-hmm. and the Holy Spirit had come upon him or descended upon him. Mm-hmm. Yet, we read that after he fasted, he returned in the power of the Spirit, hmm. whom he had already received before the, the fast. fast. That's right. Amen. <coughs> before yep. the fast. He already received them right. mm-hmm. before, right? but afterwards, mm-hmm. he came out with all power. Mm-hmm. Mm. We said that Jesus didn't receive the Holy Spirit after he fasted, mm-hmm. but the Spirit within him was fully, Amen. fully manifested with new power after his fast. That's right. Wow. Now, we pointed out how in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 34, John the Baptist said that said this about Jesus. Mm-hmm. He said, mm-hmm. the one whom God has sent speaks the word of God. That's right. For God gives the spirit without limit or without measure. That means he, was, that means he had all Completeness, of the Holy Spirit. Right. He, had, he had all of the Holy Spirit in him. All of it. And you know, during mm. that time, when Jesus walked the earth, you didn't hear talk about the Holy Spirit in, uh, coming upon any other prophet, right? No. Because <clears throat> the Holy Spirit was fully in Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Mm. Mm. So we said during Jesus' fast, God gave him the Spirit without measure. Without measure. Similarly, we said, although you received the Holy Spirit when you were born again, a fast will ignite his power within you and me and all of us. So when you fast, you will develop a hunger for God as well as an intimacy with him. And the work of the Holy Spirit will be powerfully manifested in your life. Amen. Now, your love for the Father will be renewed. Yes. It will be a joy for you to witness mm-hmm. to others about God's love and grace. Mm-hmm. You will be able to serve God in ways you never expected. Mm-hmm. Last week, we talked about one of the first things Jesus encountered after his fast was a demon-possessed man. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. As we read about this story in the book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 23 through 26, it says... Now, there was a man in their synagogues with an unclean spirit. Mm-hmm. He had an unclean mm-hmm. spirit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he cried out saying, let us alone. What have we to do with you, Jesus of Nazareth? <laughs> now, they just tell him who he is, right. Jesus of Nazareth. And what he told him, he told him, shut up. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. It says, did you come to destroy us? I know who you are. We know who you are, the Holy One of God. Mm-hmm. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be quiet and come out of him. Come on, shut up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what he was saying. Right. But they were nice. They right. were nice. Right. Right. 
And, and so when the unclean spirit had convulsed him mm -hmm. and cried out with a loud voice, he came out of him. Mm -hmm. So we said when you fast, God will send you some difficult mm -hmm. problems because you will be ready yes. to handle them yes. now through his spirit. Mm -hmm. We said that there are people whom God wants you to minister to, but they have not yet crossed your path because you are not Ooh. yet equipped to help them. Please. You need to say Selah. Selah. Think about that. Yeah, that's the that's truth. You, he's, saying, he's saying wow. you are not equipped to handle what God has wants you to handle. Right. Wow. Because you ain't ready yet. Right. So the and he's, people that he's not allowing to come across your path right. until you're equipped to handle them. So fast and prepared. Yeah. Fast and will ignite it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo! And God is not going to put... put um, he's not going to give you things that you're not really ready for. And he That's knows right. when you're ready or not. Right. Remember, he was teaching his disciples uh, a while. And then he said, I have much more to give to you. But at this time, you are not ready to receive right. them. Absolutely. So right. he Absolutely. knew that they weren't ready yeah. to receive them. Yeah. You know, yeah. you, you know, I've been in school and, and, and Minister Shai has been in school and you, you all been in school too, mm -hmm. taking classes. And sometimes when the instructor or the professor is 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 um, imparting wisdom. Sometimes they can give you so much wisdom that you just at one point down. you just shut down. You yeah, just don't that's receive true. it. That's true. You, am I right, Minister that's Sir? True. Mm -hmm. You that's just true. don't receive it. That's true. So that's true for everybody. So listen, fasting will prepare you for ministry. Amen. Then we talked about how it's important to understand that fasting often brings breakthroughs and difficult circumstances in the lives of those who are resistant to this good news about the kingdom. Mm -hmm. In the first chapter of the book of Joel, verse 12 through 14, it says this, the vine is dried up and the fig tree is withered. The pomegranate, the palm and the apple tree, all the trees of the field are dried up. Mm -hmm. Surely the joy of mankind is withered away. Yes, sir. Put on sackcloth, O priest, and mourn well, you who minister before the altar. Come spend the night in sackcloth, you who are ministers before my God, you who minister before my God, for the grain offerings and the drink offerings are withheld from the house of God. Wow. Then he says, That's declare amazing. a holy fast, mm -hmm. call a sacred assembly, mm -hmm. summon the elders and yeah. all who live yeah. in the land to the house of the Lord your mm -hmm. God and cry out to call the Lord. Mm -hmm. So last week we talked about how this may seem like a very depressing passage of scripture mm -hmm. because it talks about all the things that are lacking mm -hmm. in the lives of the Israelite people. Mm -hmm. Everything had gone wrong and nothing was working for them. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. the Lord had the answer. He said, declare a holy, holy fast. fast. What did he say? Declare, declare a, holy, a fast. holy fast. So likewise, when things are tough, when you aren't experiencing a breakthrough or nothing seems to be happening in your life, God says, stop everything and consecrate yourself, come to me. Amen. Now in the second chapter of the book of Joel, it tells the results of going to God. Verse 12 through 13 says, even now declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Mm -hmm. Rend your heart, not your garments. Mm -hmm. You know, they should tear their garments. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger mm -hmm. and abounding in love, and he relents from sending calamity. Yeah. We said if you continue reading down through the rest of this chapter, you will see that God said in essence, after you fast, get ready, get ready, because here I come, because something good is going to happen. I'm on my way. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so start making some noise because I'm getting ready to break forth. Verse 21 through 25 says, be not afraid. God is always telling us to be not yes, afraid. Always. Amen. Or fear not. Mm -hmm. Be not afraid, O land, o, o land. Be glad and rejoice. Surely the Lord has done great things. Be yeah. not afraid, O wild animals, for the open pastures are becoming green. Mm. The trees are bearing their fruits. The fig trees and the vine yield their riches. Be glad, O people of Zion. Rejoice in the Lord your God, mm -hmm. for he has given you the autumn rain because yes. he is faithful. That's right. Our Father is faithful. Always. He sends you abundant showers, both autumn and spring rains as before. The threshing floors will be filled with grain and the vats will overflow with new wine and oil. Mm. I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten, the great locusts, the young locusts, the other locusts, yes, and the locusts swarmed by great army that I sent among you. Mm. Last week we talked about this being the same chapter in which God prophesies about pouring out 
pouring out his spirit in the last days. Mm -hmm. We read verse 28 and 29 which says, Afterwards I will pour out my spirit on all people. Mm -hmm. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. Even on my servants, both men and women, mm -hmm. I will pour out my spirit in those days. Mm -hmm. So this tells us that the result of sincere fasting and prayer is that God responds by bringing deliverance yes. and blessings. That's wow. right. Deliverance and blessings. Wow. We ask the questions, have you been praying and believing God about something for a long time? We said that you probably need to add fasting to your prayers. Amen. Perhaps you have been trusting for years for God to bring certain family members, friends, and acquaintances into a saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ and the understanding of the power of his manifested kingdom government, which is now in the earth. Yes. Amen. Last week we said that it's possible that the evil spirits from the enemy who are deceiving them are not going to leave them unless you add fasting to your prayers. Wow. Or perhaps you have been praying for a breakthrough at your workplace. We said that you can fast for that situation as well. Mm -hmm. You can say to God, Father, I'm consecrating myself. I'm setting myself apart for this situation at work. Mm -hmm. When you pay the price by praying and fasting, God will respond. Now, it's important to know that when we consecrate ourselves, we need to be careful not to hinder the effectiveness of our fasting. Mm -hmm. We wow. said that it must be done in the right spirit. It must yeah. be done in the right spirit when you're fasting. Mm -hmm. We read the book of Isaiah chapter 58, which tells us the right and wrong ways to fast. In verse 3 and 4, the prophet Isaiah quotes the following things that the Israelites were saying to God. Mm -hmm. They were saying, why have we fasted, they say, and you have not seen it? Why have problem. we humbled ourselves and you have not noticed? Mm. And God's reply was this. Listen to God. Mm. Yet on the day of your fasting, you do as you please and exploit all your workers. Mm. Your fasting ends in quarreling and strife and in striking each other with the wicked fist. Yeah, that's bad. God yeah. said you yeah. fight they, it. They, they fast and, and they they fight. Consecrate to God, mm. right? And, and fight. And fight. Something ain't right. <laughs> he says you cannot fast as you do today and expect your voice to be heard on high. Mm. So what was the problem with the Israelites fasting? The answer is that their fasting was characterized by injustice to others and ended in quarreling and strife. Mm. We talked about how they were probably also saying things like, did you notice that sister such and such mm -hmm. broke her fast? Oh, I fast more than you do. Mm -hmm. We said that this tells us that they were probably also in competition with one another, even in spiritual matters. Mm -hmm. That's not fasting. It's called striving. Mm -hmm. We said when God says declare a holy fast, call a sacred assembly, as we read in the first chapter of the book of Joel, verse 14, he is saying, call people away from their regular duties and yes. have them fast as a holy duty unto me. Mm -hmm. So we said if in, anyone wants to get serious with God, he or she must show it by their commitment to do the things they should be doing with the right attitude. Mm -hmm. If we do as we please when we fast instead of seeking and obeying God, he will say to us, do you expect me to answer your prayers while you have this attitude? Mm -hmm. We said mm -hmm. God is essentially saying this is not a game. Mm -hmm. yes. Either you are fasting or you are on some kind of a diet. Mm -hmm. If you're on a diet, you can watch television, play computer games, or do whatever you want to do. Come on, come however, on. somebody say however. However. If you're going to consecrate yourself before me, then you mm -hmm. have to set yourself apart and yes. seek me rather than your own interest. Mm. This is what we must do if we want God to be pleased with our fast. God wants to earnestly, he wants us to earnestly seek him and his ways, and in turn, he will pour out his yes. enabling power through us. Yes. Now, if you read further in, in, in um, Isaiah chapter 58, verse 6 through 11, it says, Is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen? to loose the chains of the injustice and untie the cords of the yoke, mm -hmm. to set the oppressed free and break every yoke? Is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter? Mm -hmm. When you see the naked to clothe him and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood, mm -hmm. then your light will break forth like the dawn and your healing will quickly appear. Mm. Then your righteousness will go before you and the glory of the Lord will be your rear God. Mm. Then you will call and the Lord will answer. 
you will cry for help and he will say, here I am. Mm -hmm. If you do away with the yoke of oppression, with the pointing finger and malicious yeah. talk, and if you spend yourselves on behalf of the hungry and satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then your light will rise in the darkness mm -hmm. and your night will become like the noonday. Mm -hmm. The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in the sun scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well watered garden, like a spring water um, uh, whose waters never fail. It'll always be springing up. It'll spring, always be right. flowing yeah, up. It'll right. always. He said, the water that I give you, he said, you'll never thirst again. It'll always be flowing yes. up every time you need it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isaiah says that the fast God is pleased with has the power to break the chains of injustice mm -hmm. and destroy the yokes of mm -hmm. the oppressed. Mm -hmm. God's anointing can deliver people from their burdens. Now, this anointing comes through fasting that is consecrated and committed to God. Therefore, a true fast, mm -hmm. a true fast a will true cause fast. you to understand and value the important things in life. You will become a giver. Yes. You will begin to love people and want to meet their needs. Mm -hmm. You will have a burden for souls. Isaiah 58 verse 12 tells us the outcome of such a fast as it says, your people will rebuild the ancient ruins and will raise up the age old foundation. Mm -hmm. You will be called repair of broken walls, yeah. restores of streets with dwellings. We said that people's lives will be restored to God and you will also receive God's blessings. For example, verse eight says, then your light will break forth. Your light will break forth like the dawn and your healing will quickly appear. Mm, Glory wow. be to God. Mm, wow. mm, mm. Mm. You have an opportunity to activate your faith for healing when you fast. Mm -hmm. Last week we said perhaps you've been praying for healing for a long time. Mm -hmm. God is saying because you are willing to consecrate yourself to me and humble yourself on behalf of others, I'm going to yes, bring sir. healing speedily. Yes, yes sir. The same verse says your righteousness will be before you and the glory of the Lord will be your rear God. Mm -hmm. This means that the Lord will protect you. Yes. If people set traps for you, God will say in effect, that is my one, that is one of my consecrated on, saints. Don't on. touch him, don't touch her. He says, touch not mine anointed, anointed, and do ye my, my prophets, prophets no, no harm. harm. And if you go against God's word, then you're going to have to deal with God. He Absolutely. takes on the fight. That's right. Mm. So last week we said that these and other blessings will come as a result of a fast that is pleasing to God. Amen. 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 These are always so good. Amen. They are. I love to read these. Amen. Because you always mm. hear so much more. Mm -hmm. I Amen. think that's when teaching takes place. Amen. <laughs> The reviews. Amen. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like here about to bust out my look like. <laughs> you, you were sitting right here. <laughs> I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> right. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. like, did we say that last week? I don't, yeah, we said right. that. I don't remember we saying that last week. Mm -hmm. But we did. Amen. But that's what teaching is. Yeah. Amen. What? Repeating. Mm -hmm. Until learning takes Until place. Learning Until takes learning place. takes place. And that's our objective is that you mm -hmm. learn mm -hmm. so that change can occur. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Now, before we, um, now let's move into our new content for this week. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we're going to continue discussing um, fasting, understanding fasting. Amen. So let me start by asking you a question. Are you tired of praying and having no results? Mm -hmm. Selah. Mm -hmm. Well, when you fast, you are setting yourself up for answered prayer. Mm -hmm. God has promised that if you fast in the right way, he will hear and answer. As we read last week in the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 9, God says, Then you will call, and the Lord will answer Amen. your cry for help. Mm -hmm. And he will say, Here I am. Mm -hmm. So again, why will God answer your prayers? God will answer your prayers because when you fast, you are open to yes. him. Mm -hmm. You open yes. yourself to him. Amen. When you fast, your spiritual capacity to hear God and receive from him is increased. When you fast, you empty out your own interests and you are ready for him to fill you. That, Amen. That's Amen. so true. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, when you fast, you know, God always had this still small voice. But mm. when you fast, it's pretty loud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's yeah. pretty loud. You say it's not a still small it's voice. Not, no, it's like you can hear it loud and clear, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. now let's review some of the principles we discussed over the past few weeks about fasting on our lessons. During mm -hmm. our lessons on fasting. 
First, God expects his people to fast. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Right. God expects his people to fast. Amen. Fasting for the believer is not an option. Mm -hmm. And the same way we practice the habits of fasting, um, you know, in the same way we practice the habits of reading the Bible and prayer, mm -hmm. we should also practice the habit of fasting. Amen. We said before that prayer and fasting are equal parts of a single ministry. And people need to know that. Amen. 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 In the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 5 through 6, Jesus said, when you pray, mm -hmm. he didn't say if you pray, right. mm -hmm. but he said when you pray. Right. Mm -hmm. And in the same passage as verses 16 through 17, he says, when you fast. Amen. Yes. He said, when you fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as we said before, just as prayer is not an option for the believer, fasting mm -hmm. is not an option either. Amen. Fasting is a natural expectation of God for his people. Mm. Amen. Next, we define the word fast as being a conscious, intentional decision to abstain for a time from the pleasure of eating in order to gain spiritual insight. Mm -hmm. Amen. You remember we talked before about those Greek and Hebrew definitions? Yes. Mm -hmm. We said what? The, the Hebrew word is psalm, psalm, which means to cover your mouth. Mm -hmm. mm. And the Greek word was nastio, remember that? Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. That means to abstain from eating. Mm -hmm. So we said the characteristics <laughs> of fasting are this. One, fasting is a time set apart to seek the face of God and to abstain from other things in order to give one's whole heart to God in prayer. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean that you stop eating and go off and do whatever you want to do, mm -hmm. but it's to replace that time with fasting. Mm -hmm. I mean, with reading God's word and seeking his face. Mm -hmm. You remember we talked yeah, about that? You also had mentioned too, you know, it's, fasting is not when you don't have time to eat. Exactly. You just can't say, well, I call it a fast. No, that's not how it works. It means an intentional, conscious yeah, intentional. decision yes. to mm -hmm. abstain. Amen. So fasting also means putting God first and focusing all of one's attention on him mm -hmm. and on him alone. Mm -hmm. Fasting is a time to foster a sensitive environment for the working of prayer. Mm -hmm. And fasting is a form of intercession for others. Amen. That's yeah. right? Mm -hmm. right. And as a result of fasting, and the results of fasting are this, it allows us to hear from God, mm -hmm. amen, mm -hmm. to receive guidance, wisdom, and instruction, and mm -hmm. knowledge from Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Fasting enables us to receive the fullness of the Spirit or the power of God for ministry. Amen. 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 Fasting brings breakthroughs in difficult circumstances mm -hmm. in the lives of those who are resistant to the gospel of the kingdom of God. Amen. And as we touched on during our review segment today, the book of Isaiah also provides the right and wrong ways to fast. Mm -hmm. As a reminder, the right way to fast is to be consecrated and committed to God. To fast while having the right priorities. Mm -hmm. Fasting with the intent to lift people's burdens and fasting because you have a burden for souls. Now, the wrong way to fast is this. The wrong way. The wrong way. Mm -hmm. Come and fist the cuss with people, as they mm -hmm. say. Right. Fasting while doing others unjust, you know, doing an injustice to others. Mm -hmm. Fasting while quarreling and strifing. Mm -hmm. Fasting, you know, and fasting for the purpose of pursuing your own pleasures rather than the heart of God to fulfill mm -hmm. God's will. So you can't just mm -hmm. say I'm fasting to lose weight, right? Right, absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's for your own business. That's what you're asking. Right. But that doesn't that's not the heart of God. No. Right? Mm -hmm. So in the outcome of a true fast will result in one people being delivered mm -hmm. and restored to God. Mm -hmm. And the one who fasts receives God's blessings. Amen. 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 Well, we have officially um this officially brings us to the end of all the topics covered in the book, mm -hmm. Understanding the Purpose and Power of Prayer, Earthly License for Heavenly Intervention. Mm -hmm. We've finished this book. Amen. So before we move into our new series, we're going to spend the next few weeks recapping some of the principles of prayer and petitioning that we covered during this series. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember, Learning is repeating until learning learn takes place. place. Or teaching is learn repeating. I got to repeat. Teaching. The teachers here. Mm -hmm. Teaching until. So we're gonna we're gonna recap some of the principles that we touched on in this series, mm -hmm. and we'll begin the new series the first Sunday in in February. Mm -hmm. Amen. So before we end our segment today, 
Let's recap the principles covered in the very first lesson on understanding the kingdom purpose and power of prayer mm -hmm. and the topic that we you know it's a topic we call the genesis of prayer mm -hmm. amen mm -hmm. so remember we said principles are standards mm -hmm. and laws mm -hmm. amen they don't change mm -hmm. yes. so the first principle is this you know and it's a foundational principle it says that god is a god of purpose and his purposes are eternal. Amen. Amen. That means exactly. they're forever. They don't mm -hmm. change. Without ending. He says, I'm the Lord thy God. I change not. not. Change Amen. Mm -hmm. We said that purpose means the reason or the original intent or motivation. Mm -hmm. Purpose is foundational for everything that God is and God does. Amen. Therefore, once again, as Diane mentioned this in the beginning, if he tells us to pray without ceasing, there is a reason or a purpose that he's telling us to do this. Mm -hmm. He doesn't just say things. Mm -mm. There's a reason for everything that God says. So he says to pray without ceasing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, we've read um, several accounts of this truth in various scriptures. Mm -hmm. However, a remind, as a reminder, let's take a look at a few places, a few of the key scriptures that we've looked at before to substantiate this truth, mm -hmm. amen? And these scriptures can be found in the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter, the 33rd division of the book of Psalms, mm -hmm. and the book of Proverbs. I'm gonna ask mm -hmm. Diane to read for me, Isaiah, the 14th chapter, verse 24, mm -hmm. Psalms 33 and 11, and Proverbs 19 and 21, mm -hmm. amen? Amen. Okay, Isaiah 14, 24 reads, mm -hmm. The Lord Almighty has sworn, mm -hmm. surely as I had planned, so it will be. Mm -hmm. And as I had purpose, mm -hmm. so it will. Mm -hmm. Keep going. The next one is um, Psalms 33. There you go, 33 and 11. Mm -hmm. Psalms 33 and 11. Mm -hmm. And it reads, but the plans of the Lord stands firm forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The purpose of his heart through all generations. Amen. Amen. And one Amen. more, Proverbs 19 and 21. 19 and 21. That's yeah, the one. That right, talks about right, God's right. intent. Mm -hmm. That's right. And it reads, many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that, that prevails. The Lord's what? Purpose. Purpose. Amen. So let's just recap those really quickly. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 24, 14 and 24 says, The Lord God Almighty has sworn. Mm -hmm. What did he swear? Surely, Surely. As I have planned it, so it will be. Amen. As I have purposed it, so it will stand. Mm -hmm. Not might stand. Will. It will, will stand. Or shall. Then in Psalms 33, 11, he says, the plans of the Lord stand forever. Mm -hmm. The purposes of his heart through all generations. Amen. Mm -hmm. And finally, Proverbs 19 and 21 says, mm -hmm. there are many plans in a man's heart, mm -hmm. but it's the Lord's purpose that shall prevail. Amen. Now, the King James Version of that same passage says there are many devices mm -hmm. in a man's heart. Nevertheless, Nevertheless, it is the counsel of the Lord mm -hmm. that shall stand. Amen. 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 Now let's talk about the council. First of all, let me just say this. Whenever you see the word council, it means that God had a meeting with himself mm -hmm. because there was nobody else around but him, mm -hmm. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So the word council means that God had a meeting with himself mm -hmm. and he made all decisions and is, put all plans in place and everything that he needed mm -hmm. to do Then he that he wanted to do according to his will and his purpose and his intent mm -hmm. and his original motivation. Then he closed the meeting and then he began it. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes. Mm -hmm. So the counsel of the Lord is the same thing as the purpose, original motivation, will, or intent of God. Mm -hmm. This scripture implies that before the foundations of the world, like I just said, mm -hmm. the Lord God, who is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, predetermined or predestined what he wanted. That word destined and the word predestined means ended. Mm -hmm. The prefix pre means before. So God ended our lives before he started it. Come Amen. On, man. Mm. Come on, this man. means that he, number one, purpose what he wanted. Mm -hmm. Number two, he planned what he wanted. Mm -hmm. Then he decreed what he wanted. Mm -hmm. He finished the whole plan. 
Then he implemented or began his plan to fulfill his purpose for mankind and the earth. Amen. 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 Now, as we've said many times before, hand over fist, God began the beginning before the beginning began. Wow. So once again, purpose is foundational to everything in life, including prayer. And God is a God of purpose and his purpose are eternal and immutable, which means it doesn't change, which means they will not change. And let me just say this before I, I, I say anything else. The Bible talks about, when you read Proverbs um, 19. 19 and 21, uh -huh. that talks about the counsel of God or God's intent. Right. God's intent is his will, it's his purpose, mm -hmm. it's his reason. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. His purpose is his, the purpose is his reason for the action. It's not the action, it's the reason for the action. That's, That's right. what the word purpose means. That's right. The reason for the action. Now, if you want to know how the mind of God we declare that you read the book of Ephesians because yeah, yes. Ephesians talks that we read that yesterday. Yeah, yeah, remember, uh -huh. yeah. Ephesians tells you the mind of God. Now, Genesis tells you about the, the actions. God's actions, him putting things in place and mm -hmm. planning him, making and forming and all right. of that stuff. But if you want to know the mind of God, if you want to say, but, but God, what, why are you doing this? Mm -hmm. Then read the yeah. book of Ephesians because the book of Ephesians talks about the mind of God, his will, his intent, his purpose and reasons for doing things. Now, when you want to see his reasons and actions, then you can go to the book of Genesis. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, principle number two says this. It says that God created, as you were just saying, mm -hmm. mankind, which means you and I, mm -hmm. he created us for and with a desired purpose. Yes. Mankind was created to have dominion over all the earth. Yes. Genesis chapter one tells us that God created mankind, both male and female, to carry out his purposes. That's mm -hmm. the actions on the earth. Um, this, is the, this is mankind's primary vocation or calling. Mm -hmm. Once again, that is to carry out his purposes in the earth. Mm -hmm. Now let's review a few additional places. We've read, we know this one by heart, but I'm going to ask Sister Diane to read it again. Um, Genesis 1, verses 26 to 28. And my, one of my favorites is from, mm, Psalms, mm -hmm. uh, chapter 8, verses 1 through 6. And I'm going to ask Sister Diane to also read Psalms 115 and 6. Amen. 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 So let's this go to Genesis. Should, this should read in a lot. <laughs> Bishop work today. Yeah. Amen. Bishop work all the time. Though, Amen. So, you know. Amen. But Genesis 1 verses 26 to 28 reads, mm. Then God said, Let us make mankind mm. in our image and in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and mm. all the wild animals, and over all the create create creatures mm -hmm. that move along the ground. Mm -hmm. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them, male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful and increase in numbers, mm -hmm. fill the earth mm -hmm. and subdue it, rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, and over every living creature that moves in the ground. Mm, mm, mm. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So Psalms 8, Diane, go to, and you go there with us because we, we want you to make sure you're reading along with mm -hmm. us. Psalms, the eighth chapter, verses one through six. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So David said, Lord, our God, how majestic is your name mm, in all mm, the earth. Mm, mm. You have set your glory in the heaven. Through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, mm. the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, mm. what is mankind mm -hmm. that you're so <laughs> mindful of them? Mm. Mm. Human beings that you care for them. Mm. You have made them a little lower than the angels mm, mm, and crowned them with glory and honor. Mm. You have made them rulers over the works of your hands. Yes, right. You have put everything under their feet. That's How right. it be to mm, God. Mm, mm. <laughs> that means now you're we'll, giving them authority. That's yes, right. sir. Yes, sir. That's authority. right. That's you right. Authority. Psalms 115 and 6, Diane. That's the last one. It say, 
They they have ears, uh -uh. but can... 115 and 6? 115 and 6. Psalms, read it again for me. They have ears, but they cannot hear. Nose, but cannot smell. That's the wrong one. That's the it? wrong one. Because the one I want you to read mm -hmm. says, The highest heavens belong to the Lord. Mm -hmm. But the earth he has given to the children of men. That's okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay. That's all right. Let's mm -hmm. just, that's, that's all right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. But that's, that's, we're reading these passages just to kind of remind Here you. Here you go. God, it's 16, not that, 6. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. It says, The highest heaven belong to the Lord, but the earth he has given to mankind. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But who did he give it to? Mankind, who, me. Who's that? You and me. That's there you right. go. Amen. Amen. So again, Amen. Genesis 126 to 28 says, Let us make man in our image and after our likeness mm -hmm. and let them have dominion, mm -hmm. rulership Amen. Wow. over all the earth. Amen. As we've discussed before, to have dominion means to what? To govern, govern mm -hmm. to rule, to rule, mm -hmm. control, to control, to do, to manage, do, to control, mm -hmm. to manage, to lead, to master, to master the mm. earth. Mm -hmm. That's what that word do. That that's our assignment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So this tells us that you and I were created by God to have stewardship, rulership, responsibility over the management of the entire earth, mm -hmm. but not ownership. Not that's ownership. Right. Not ownership. Right. And not over each other. Come right. on. No, he that's never slavery. mentioned. Right. That's Absolutely. Slavery. That's right. He Absolutely. never created man to rule another man, mm -hmm. which is why you don't like to be told what to do. Mm -hmm. No, not even children. They Amen. say, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then in Psalms 8, verse 6, he says, Lord, you have made him, mankind, to have what? Dominion or rulership over the works, works of, of your hands. hands. Yes. Right. You have put all things under his feet. Mm -hmm. yeah. So placing things under one feet, as you just said, means that God gave us the power mm -hmm. and the authority and the ability to place yes. all things Lord, in the earth yes. under our authority, mm -hmm. under our earthly authority. Mm -hmm. We have earthly authority because we live in this dirt suit, mm -hmm. which is why a, a spirit is illegal in the earth mm -hmm. if they do not live in a body, which is why suit. demons always try to possess a body mm -hmm. yes. because it is the body that makes you legal. Amen. Absolutely. And then Psalms 115 and 16 says the heavens, even the heavens are the Lord's, but the earth he has given to the children of man. This means that God rules the heavens and we, mankind, we are supposed to rule and manage this earth. Yeah. He rules the heaven. All his stuff is in order. You think about that? Yes. You never hear about stars colliding? No. You never hear mm -hmm. about the planets colliding? No. Mm -hmm. He never. keeps order. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Amen. And we're supposed to rule the earth. We got stars colliding Good. in the earth. No, the kingdoms coming against kingdoms. kingdoms. All kinds oh. of stuff. Well, we ain't going to mm. move on from that. Jesus. So once Ooh, again, Lord. these passages express God's desired mm. purpose for creation of mankind. Mm -hmm. And that is to have dominion, rulership over all the mm. earth. Amen. Amen. Now, principle number three says um, it's God's. it was God's desire. Now, this is important. Now, listen, all of this stuff is related to prayer. So remember, these are principles mm -hmm. that we covered in prior chapters. And this was building up to teaching on the purpose and power of prayer. So principle number three is this. God's desired, um, he, he desired offspring or he desired children mm -hmm. who would share a relationship of love with. As well as, wow. you know, not only would we share the relationship of love with him, but mm -hmm. we would share in his rulership responsibility. He gave us rulership and dominion. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. We said before that God created mankind in his own image mm -hmm. so that love could be freely given and received Amen. between creator mm -hmm. and created, right? That's right. So the only reason... Uh, man can have fellowship with God is that God made mankind who are male and female mm -hmm. out of his own essence. Amen. Mm -hmm. The Bible says God is love. Mm -hmm. And we know that love cannot live or exist in isolation. Amen. So in order for love to be fulfilled and complete, there must be a giving and mm -hmm. a receiving of love from another of the same essence. essence. That's right. Yes. So once again, this is why when God created a companion for the mailman, mm -hmm. instead of going back into the dirt, mm -hmm. he pulled the rib out of the yeah. male mm -hmm. and fashioned the woman from the rib inside of the male. And this way, a woman is made of the same essence, essence. Mm -hmm. as the man. That's Amen. Right. Therefore, love cannot be fulfilled between male and female. I mean, love can be fulfilled 
between male and female because they are of the same, same essence. essence. Amen. Yes. Amen. So God made mankind male and female to be mm -hmm. a spirit just as he is a spirit. Mm -hmm. And love can be complete when male and female have a loving relationship with God. Amen. So John chapter 4 verse 24 tells us that God is a spirit mm -hmm. and his worshipers must worship must. him how? It's in spirit, spirit and, and in truth. truth. That's what Jesus said. Spirit and Amen. in truth. Amen. Mm, Amen. Amen. Mm, mm, mm. Now, principle four remind us that God created mankind mm -hmm. in his image mm -hmm. with his nature mm -hmm. and morals, mm -hmm. characters, and with a sovereign will. That's mm -hmm. right. That's important. That's right. Mm -hmm. This means that we, mankind, you and I, are specifically designed mm -hmm. by God mm -hmm. to be able to function just yeah. like him. Y'all ain't on. hear me. Just say it again. Y'all ain't hear me. Say it again, girl. Listen, God created mankind in his likeness and mm -hmm. his image. Mm -hmm. So we were designed specifically mm -hmm. to be able to function mm -hmm. just like him. Just like him. Just like him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Function just like him. Principle father. number five tell us that God gave mankind the freedom to function as a legal authority in the earth. Mm -hmm. That's that will. He mm -hmm. gave us a mm -hmm. will. He's so loving and kind. He, you know, he is I, so loving and kind. One of my other friends, she said, you know, this 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 free will thing is overrated. <laughs> and I, you know what? You know, she was jokingly saying it, but she was serious at yeah, the same time. Yeah, it's, it's overrated yeah, yeah. because because we have made such a mess of things. Yes. You know. Yes. But that's why he wants your will mm -hmm. to be in alignment with his will. Because so, he knows. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the will that mm -hmm. God created in us mm -hmm. is what you call the soul, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is the middleman. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You know the devil is after your soul. That's mm -hmm. And right. that's what God wants is your soul. Mm -hmm. that, because you that's, know, as you call it, what, the divine center of what? Mm -hmm. The divine the center of choice. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's where you make your choices. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be led by what? The flesh or the, or the spirit. spirit. Or the right. spirit. And the Bible tells us to do, to do what? To not walk mm -hmm. in the dictates of the flesh. Because in right. the flesh dwells no, no good thing. thing. So take no thought in the flesh, because in the flesh dwells no, no good, good thing. thing. But if you walk in the spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. You mm -hmm. will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Amen. Mm. He placed his will for the earth on the cooperation of man's will. Mm. And this purpose never changed even after the fall of mankind. Mm -hmm. Purpose number six reinforces the truth that God's will is his purpose for mankind. That's mm -hmm. right. So in order to fulfill what we were created to be and do, mm -hmm. men and women must desire to do God's will. That's Come so, on. Come that on. is so key. You Come gotta on. desire it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, principle number seven makes us aware that prayer is the expression mm -hmm. of man's kind unity mm -hmm. and relationship of love mm -hmm. with God. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. It is also an expression of man's kind affirmation of and participation mm -hmm. in God's purposes. That's, That's how we participate. That's, That's how right. we participate. Mm -hmm. This lets us know that the most effective prayer is the one that is in accordance with God's will. That's, That's it. Right. Okay? That's, That's, mm, okay? That's it. And we all know that God's will is his word. Is his word. Amen. Pause and calmly think about <laughs> yes! it. Yes! Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Now, uh, principle number eight <coughs> reminds us that prayer is the involvement of one's whole self with God, your whole self with God. Principle number nine informs us that prayer is the medium through which the human spirit affects and is affected by the will and the purpose of the divine creator, Jehovah Elohim Adonai God, mm -hmm. the self-existing self one. That's right. yes, Principle number 10 says that prayer is not <coughs> optional, but instead prayer is essential for the fulfillment of God's purpose on the earth. Amen. Mm -hmm. Principle Amen. number 11 reminds us of what we've been teaching during this entire series on prayer and that is prayer is mankind giving God come on, the come freedom on. and the permission 
to intervene in earth's affairs. Amen. Mm. Now in Matthew chapter 16, verse 19, Jesus tells his disciples, I will give you the keys of the kingdom yes, of heaven. Sir. Yes, sir. As we have said many times before, keys are principles, yes, sir. standards, and the laws of how the kingdom of heaven operates. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now he said, whatever you bind or stop on earth, I will stop or prohibit it from heaven. That's right. Amen. Then he says, whatever you loose or allow on earth, then I will allow or permit it from heaven. Mm. So again, prayer is giving God permission to operate yes. in the situations and circumstances of the earth according to his will, mm. his will, which is his word. Amen. 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 Wow. Now, principle, excuse me, principle number 12 assures us that when we know God's purposes and will for all things, mm -hmm. when we are obedient to it, mm -hmm. when we ask God to fulfill it, God will grant what we ask. Amen. That is so key. That Amen. means you can't just go to him with your own cute words. Mm -hmm. right. God wants his will done in the earth. Amen. Yes, so when so. you go to him and you are obedient to his will and you petition him in accordance with his will, God will grant you what you ask yes, of him. Amen. Amen. As we've read many times before, and everybody who's been following us should know this one by heart. Mm -hmm. First John chapter 5, verses 14 and 15 confirms this statement. It says, now this is the confidence that we have in him. Mm -hmm. That if we ask anything according to his will, he mm -hmm. does what? He hears us. He hears us. Which right. means if you are asking him and you're not in accordance with his will, he's not obligated to hear what you're asking Absolutely. him. Absolutely. And then it says, we, and if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. Amen. And the final principle that we'll cover today is principle number 13. And it informs us that when Adam and Eve broke their relationship with God, their effectiveness in prayer was also broken. Mm. Mm. However, say however, however, thank God, thank God. Yes, sir. that the reconciliation of our relationship has come and been restored mm. through mm. the Lord mm. Jesus Christ himself, the Woo! Savior of the whole world. Somebody the come get me and Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to keep it together. <laughs> Therefore, <laughs> true Amen. prayer is manifested through oneness of heart mm -hmm. and purpose with God. Amen. Amen. Mm. Amen. Well, we are going to end on this note, mm. but remember mm. to join us again next week at 3 p.m. as we continue reviewing the principles that we've covered during this, seg this series mm. on the purpose and power of kingdom prayer. Amen. Now remember, the next series we'll move into beginning in February is called The Purpose and Power of Kingdom Faith. Kingdom Ooh, Faith. Lord. Amen. Kingdom so faith. stay tuned and Amen. we'll continue. Uh, stay tuned as we continue and follow us through these series. Mm -hmm. It is for those who Ooh, choose. Amen. 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 Mm. Now for those of you watching, who desire to be cleansed by the blood of Jesus, mm -hmm. forgiven for your sins, mm -hmm. and be reconciled to God's family and restored unto your kingdom, citizenship, authority, and earth. Mm -hmm. This new life has been made available to you today through mm -hmm. the Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen. Now, if you choose this life today, please join me now in this prayer. Repeat after me. Mm. Dear Heavenly Father, I come in the name of Jesus Christ. You said in your word that he who comes to me, I will no wise cast out. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I know you won't cast me out, but instead you will take me in. Mm -hmm. So I thank you, Heavenly Father, for taking me in. Mm -hmm. You also said in your word that whosoever call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, as I call upon your name, I thank you for saving me. Amen. Amen. You said if I will confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus, the Lord, confess with, with if I will confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus mm -hmm. and shall believe in my heart mm -hmm. that God raised him from the dead, I will be saved. Mm. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Mm -hmm. Therefore, Heavenly Father, I confess this day mm -hmm. with my mouth mm -hmm. that Jesus Christ is my Lord. Amen. I believe in my heart that Jesus has raised from the dead from, for my justification. Mm -hmm. And now because of this, 
I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, Heavenly Father, you also said, how much more shall you give the Holy Spirit to them that ask? Mm -hmm. Therefore, I am asking you to please fill me with your Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Father, I thank you also for baptizing me in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Now, fill me to the point of overflow. Mm. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Now, if you just pray this prayer with me, you are now cleansed by the blood of Jesus from sin and unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. You are now reconciled unto your heavenly father as his son. Mm -hmm. You are now filled with the Holy Spirit of Christ, and you are now restored unto your kingdom citizenship authority mm -hmm. with the power and authority to reign and rule in life welcome back to the family welcome of back. god amen i challenge you to begin by dominating in life by the power of the holy spirit living in you and mm -hmm. the authority given to you to dominate in life by jesus christ mm -hmm. amen mm -hmm. amen now if you pray this prayer with us today please feel free to let us know in the comment and send us a message especially if you would like someone to follow up with you mm. amen amen mm. amen now let's move into our open forum discussion are there any questions from our audience now is the time if you have questions please place them in the comment section now while we're waiting let me pose this question to you to share with our audience what is the true value of prayer to mankind, to you and me? What's the value? What's the true value? Mm. Well, true, the true value of prayer is that everything that God is and everything that God has is available to you and I through prayer. Mm. Amen. 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 On earth, man can do nothing without God. Mm -hmm. Right. The other reality is that God will do nothing in the earth without mankind. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The principle is that there has to be a partnership between mm -hmm. heaven and earth in order for things to happen on earth. Amen. Amen. And Amen. mankind, God said, let them let have them. dominion. Mm -hmm. That was the law. Amen. Mankind holds the power of license or permission to do or not to do something on earth, especially Amen. if we want the heavenly government to operate in earthly affairs. Amen. God wants us to bring order to this planet. He wants us to, and he wants to help us bring the order to mm -hmm. this planet, mm -hmm. but he will not do it unless we give him the permission to come in and do his will. Amen. Amen. So as we've been teaching in this series on prayer, mm -hmm. The true value of prayer and petitioning is that it is the medium by which we give God the permission Amen. to intervene or interfere in earthly affairs. Amen. By praying according to his purpose and his will, we're giving him the permission to manifest his government in the earth. Amen. 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 Which is why Jesus told us to pray, thy kingdom Amen. come, mm -hmm. thy will be done mm -hmm. on, on earth, earth just, just like, like it, it is, is in heaven. heaven. Amen. Amen. The Bible tells us several things about God's kingdom. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us that his kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Mm -hmm. yeah? That his dominion or rulership is from generation to generation. Mm -hmm. His kingdom is an unshakable kingdom, which means it cannot be removed from the earth. Amen. So this tells us that death, hell, and the grave cannot, cannot stop the expansion mm -hmm. of God's kingdom government on this earth. Amen. 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 All right. Amen. If you miss any of our prior sessions from our Sunday series, I strongly urge you to go back and watch all of them. They are still saved on our Facebook page. You can access them from our website at www.ftwcinc.org. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and see all of the videos there as well. Mm -hmm. Remember to join us each Sunday at 3 p.m. for continuous study. Amen. May you be transformed by the renewing of your mind right. so that you will know the good, mm -hmm. acceptable, and perfect, perfect will, will of, God. of God. Amen. 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 Now, the final thing we want to remind you of today, and that is... Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you next Sunday. Be blessed.